All right, 949 right now, and every week we like to talk about legal issues that are up in the news, and we have Ivan Gold to do that with us here in the studio. Yes, thank you, Ivan. Nice Hi, to be Ivan. Here. Yeah. Nice All right, so let's start with the very latest this week. There's been a lot of news uh, with J.C. Lee Dugard, who was kidnapped yes. at the age of 11, and Philip and Nancy Garrido, who are charged with holding her captive. Yes. So some of the latest developments that are legal that I have questions about are, you know, we today on the news show these um, very personal diary entries that J.C. wrote when she was like as young yes. as 13, and it seems like, isn't that, shouldn't that be, we usually hide that stuff. Let That's, me tell you, that is an outrage. The judge should have sealed that. The public should not see that. It could prejudice a potential jury pool. This is all out in the open. This is making this case a tabloid case. Remember, both the defendant must have a fair trial. He must receive a fair trial. This could prejudice him. This could now flaw this entire process, this entire jury. However, if we take a step back again, I guarantee you these two will never get out of jail. This is an unprecedented case to kidnap a girl like that. So at the end of the day, he will never see the light of day, I guarantee it. And this is all part of Philip Corrido's attempt to see J.C. Dugard and to also see his wife, Nancy. Uh, does he have the right to see his wife or to see J.C. Dugard? Ridiculous and inappropriate request. He's trying to plant the seeds for a mistrial. He's trying to throw as much up against the wall as he can and hope some of it sticks. Absolutely ridiculous to see his wife or to see his daughter based on some on family court issues or family court, court law. Absolutely not. And a judge will not allow it, I guarantee it. Gotcha. All right. There's another uh, kind of a smaller issue uh, in the news, and it's with this Pistons player, George Hill. Yes. And one of these websites, Dirty.com, and they, you know they're all the yes. same. They post these pictures. They posted nude pictures that he had sexted. You know, a text message to someone. They gave it to the website, and the lawyers are arguing because the website says, "No, we are, we are allowed to show these naked pictures." Look, this, the, with the internet today, all the websites will post whatever they can. The National Enquirer, the Tiger Woods, this stuff is fair game. Of course, George Woods doesn't want that on there. George Hill, rather. Right. George Hill, excuse me. And not Tiger Woods or George. They George. all don't want and it so on look, it. Look, look, his lawyers will do whatever they can to remove it. But at the end of the day, it's freedom of speech. They can show it. TMZ did nothing wrong or, or Dirty.com did nothing wrong. Yeah. And like all these other sites, all these other ballplayers don't take photos. I had a case one time where the crime was committed on a video for these ball players, these athletes, they think it's funny, they sex, they text, right. they video, it's not funny, and it always comes back to haunt them. Same thing happened to Greg Oden, a new picture of him at Portland That's Trailblazer. Right. So what happened, just information for everybody, once you send someone a picture of yourself over yes. email mm -hmm. or through your phone, it is, is it no longer your property? It's fair game, it's published. It is fair game, if someone gets it, they can use it, and you're not going to get a court to say, no, 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 it's out there in technological land. Right. And that's the way it is now. And it can be used against you. Another former Raider player committed a rape, and it was on a videotape, and I was involved in that case. So believe me, it happens. These ball players, they got to be careful. Tiger Woods, just him texting, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It comes back to haunt him. It really does. And a picture is worth a thousand words. It's the best evidence. And now, Hill's reputation is damaged, and it may cost him down the road. Yeah. All right, Ivan Gold, thanks for your insight today. Good to be here. All right, 952. We'll